Hello, I am Fernanda Paiva, Hitchhiking Stars, and let's talk about the second half of eclipse season. So let's talk about this full moon eclipse that's approaching. It will be happening on the 28th of October, 2023, and it will be happening at 5 degrees Taurus. So the sun will be at 5 degrees Scorpio and the moon at 5 degrees Taurus. So let's have a look at the chart. Let's talk about the Sabian symbols. And just as a reminder as well, eclipse season does require a little rejiggling, a, re a little adaptation and flexibility from us. I think one of the key words with eclipse season is change and adapting to change and embracing change as well. We need to become aware of what needs to be changed in our lives. So be a dramatic manifestation or not you know eclipses doesn't necessarily have to be all drama and, and problems it can also be wonderful things it can be beautiful happenings as well and um, events in our lives so it doesn't have to be uh, fear-mongering and bad but it does represent big changes so if you don't feel very comfortable with changes every eclipse season will be challenging that um, for you so with all of that said let's get our surfing boards let's let's um let's get a ride with these energies let's see what is the best that we can do what is the chart of this full moon reflecting for us um, in terms of potentials in terms of setting intentions to release um, to let go as well and, and what sort of combination is this full moon um, representing and talking about as well so the first thing I want to bring in is the degree of this full moon and as usual looking into the imagery for this degree as well and f five degrees Taurus the Sabian symbol for that is a bridge being built across a high narrow gorge. Um, so the main um, the main imagery here is a bridge, right? It's a bridge being built. I love bridges. I've always really enjoyed crossing bridges and walking over bridges and stuff. And I and I think one of the main things that I love about them is the, the sense of being in, in a liminal space between two different places. And so I think this full moon eclipse has that kind of energy there. It's like um, it is about building bridges, be it between people, places, between our own understanding, between phases of our lives as well. But there is something about bring, bringing that connection between these two different spaces that will be um that this full moon will be about um there are a few more planets that will be involved in very strongly that will be featuring very strongly in this full moon that we'll also be talking about but bearing in mind this vision of a bridge and this vision of bringing two different things together somehow um also with this full moon eclipse just to think about that this is the last full moon eclipse or the last eclipse in the axis of Taurus and Scorpio. So we've been having eclipses last year in the sign of Taurus and Scorpio. So we've had a series. Um, so the lunar nodes are really responsible for what sign the eclipses are going to be. And so we had the lunar nodes traveling Taurus and Scorpio. And therefore we had all the eclipses happening, or most of the eclipses happening in Taurus and Scorpio last year, and some of this year as well. So it's like, a, it's like the ending of a chapter here, because it's the last eclipse in Taurus and Scorpio as well. So it's, in, it's important to think about where we're at with all of the issues that we work through um, from 22 until when the uh, lunar nodes shifted to Aries and Libra earlier this year so it's important to kind of have that sense of continuity here and and in that regard we can also link this full moon eclipse that's happening now on the 28th with a new moon eclipse that's happened on the 30th of april in 22 so what was going on for you what was around you what happened in your life because this full moon is the culmination of that new moon that happened there 
um, that new moon eclipse happened at 10 degrees Taurus, so it's not too far. And I feel that there is a, a connection to these full moon eclipses that we're having now. Um, so you can connect your own dots. You can see what what sort of sense of continuation do you get there from what was going on now as usual when we have Taurus and Scorpio there is an issue of letting go there is an issue of, with letting go there is an issue of attachment here and it could be an attachment to uh, passions I mean both Taurus and Scorpio are highly highly passionate but it could be of a more material sensual side with Taurus or an attachment of the emotional kind, you know, being attached to a toxic relationship or a toxic situation. And we're going to throw some light into that during this formal eclipse. So whatever needs to go, be ready to facilitate that process of letting go, right? Um, getting yourself ready to the next stage of your life, basically. That's the feeling that I get from this formal eclipse. As usual as well, with the moon in Taurus, we think about our values. We really have to think about our values. We really have to think about our sense of solidity, what brings us a sense of self-worth as well. And whatever is getting in the way there, um, a specific situation, a relationship, a job, or whatever it is that's kind of preventing you from getting in touch or cultivating that i think cultivating is a great word when we think about taurus and when we think about that um value sort of side that taurus represent and how taurus is linked with nature and gardening as well so i i love to think about that sense of cultivation so whatever is in the way is in between you and the cultivation of your values will potentially be going now with this full moon eclipse or even you are going to become more aware of the need for them to go, <laughs> the need to let that go. So this full moon will be also not too far from Jupiter. And here we get, I'm looking at the chart right now of this full moon, and I'm looking into the, the other planets and, and how they're interconnected here. So, so this moon will be close to Jupiter. So Jupiter is 11 degrees excuse me so jupiter is 11 degrees taurus and that moon is at five so we definitely have a sense of expansion here that jupiter is bringing um expanding our sense of self-worth that's that uh taurus our sense of individuality and standing on our own feet as well that's also the taurian side as well as the virgo you know there's a venus in virgo here as well that's ruling taurus Venus in Virgo is also trine, Uranus. So there's something about being able to stand on our own two feet and having, you know, continuing that sense of independence. But it, with this, is independence that's based on what we love the most, that's based on what we truly value, that has that expansive Jupiterian quality as well. Now, on the other side of the equation, so we've got that um, Jupiter at 11 towards near the moon but on the other side of the equation so near the sun we have mercury at 10 degrees scorpio and mars at 11 degrees scorpio as well so we could become aware of a need for asserting ourselves or people or how to deal with anger i think will be here reflected in this configuration now because jupiter is opposite to that mars as well and mars is very powerful in um scorpio there could be something here um connected with anger that we might have to deal with we might feel very angry around the full moon or people might be angry around us as well or something that might be happening uh, that might be quite intense very pointy very intense very sharp i think the scorpio has this very sharp energy that can cut really deep and very precisely as well so there's something of that energy that we need to be wary of so do not weaponize um no matter what's happening what discussions you might be having with partners or loved ones around this time do not weaponize 
the knowledge that you have about them or you know anything like that because that's something that's the shadow side of Scorpio as well that could potentially um, come up but on the positive note I think that Mars Mercury will be cutting sharp you know very sharp insights as well that we could have about our own psyches about our own tendencies about our own patterns what's leading us to stay in a situation or what's going to be shown to us that we might um, finally be able to make a move finally be able to move on finally be able to bring that change to life um, so that is very very strong that mercury mars and jupiter and that sense of expanding so the change will bring expansion it's just a word of of advice there with the anger element of it just be careful just be try to play you know try to be a little bit patient cultivate a little bit patience during this time and even i would suggest as well do not put yourself in any challenging situation deliberately you know going to a crowded event or if you can um if you are an empath and a highly sensitive person out there you know this is a great time to just do some internal personal introverted work and try not to be around um, a lot of people because that could be a lot of intense mars energy um around us really in the world you know in the crowds in the in the collective unconscious let's put it that way so that energy is definitely there is definitely very very powerful use it to your benefit use it constructively and creatively now the last little bit that i want to share with you here looking at this chart as well is that the aspect the closest aspect let's put it this way that the sun and the moon are uh, doing so what is the other planet that's involved here in this full moon is saturn so we've got saturn at zero degrees pisces it is a whitish trine to the sun in scorpio at five degrees and and a sextile to the moon as well and i think this is kind of pointing a, a possible way out here from any conundrum that we might find ourselves in and and that is emotional maturity i think saturn in pisces at best you know saturn water at best is talking about emotional maturity is talking about rising above um staying still meditating doing some spiritual work with this energy using this energy in a constructive way using this energy in a beneficial way not only for you but for your community as well for the people around you for the other beings and other plans as well you know because if we're thinking about pisces we're thinking about beyond these physical reality that we can see so using and harnessing these energy for spiritual evolution and and, and growth could be wonderful and i think that saturn can be representing that or you know the from the more earthy level it could be about emotional maturity nonviolent communication realizing the changes that you need to apply and just observing them and then communicating them later once the energies are a little bit easier to work with all right so that's it this is what i had to say about this full moon eclipse i hope you make the best of the best that you can think of with this energy and you bring about wonderful positive change and evolution into your life and forgiveness and letting go and all of that um i will be talking to you soon so let me know in the comments how you feel what's going on for you and other than that i'll be seeing you or i'll be speaking to you soon bye bye now